Sometimes a straight line doesn't accurately represent the data. It might be clear to see that a straight line will fit the data well, but from the graphs below, it's easy to see that the straight line doesn't actually do a very good job at predicting this data. When this occurs, we need to perform a transformation. However, it isn't e always easy to know what transformations work well and what doesn't. To do a transformation, we will need to change the response variable, and in more advanced cases, we can transform independent variables, but not for this module. Let's see how we can recognize a transformation and then see how to implement it. The graphs below represent different relationships between a dependent variable and a single independent variable. So the first one, we have y equals x squared. And what it is is a curve that seems to go upward. This is an example of a curve linear relationship. And it's because of the y equals x squared. Powers will definitely cause curves, uh, curves to appear from a straight line. Now the second one, we have y equals log of x, and the curve looks like it goes up and then begins to somewhat level off, but it will never level off completely. The bottom one shows a 1 over x, a different type of relationship as it curves downward. And the next one shows a similar one to the log, but it's a little bit different, and this is the square root of x. So when you have a possible non-linear relationship between variables, you need to identify which relationship it might be. Once identified using algebra, we can then transform the y variable to make it work. So for example, if we had the two variables and it looked like it was a y equals x squared or something close in terms of that curve, we can alter the equation to be the square root of y equals x and do the transformation there. Altering the y variable is easier because multiple linear regression will have more than one independent x variable. And so we end up with the situation where we have the curves. We can't necessarily tell which variable is causing it, but because the response looks curved, we can actually transform that. So another transformation would be y equals the square root of x, and we could square both sides, so we would have y squared equals x. The table to the right shows a set of data we've added a column called the square root of y, where we calculated the square root of y itself. And we could see from the chart that the relationship between x and y is definitely curved, and it kind of looks like it would be y equals x squared. Therefore, we could transform this variable to the square root of y equals x. We could see from the chart the relationship between x and y is curved. And therefore, what we do is we can transform this variable which we've chosen to do with the square root of y. Our regression is now run against the transformed y variable, and we obtain the following result. The square root of the predicted y value is equal to 0 0.0714 plus 0.997 x1. Again, we have our coefficients are interpreted the same way, but recall that it is now actually predicting the square root of y. So if we wanted the actual y value, we would need to square the predicted value. So since y hat represents, for example, number of sales based on x1, which is the number of customers, we would interpret the equation above as the square root of sales is equal to 0.0714 plus 997 times the x1 customers. So if we had obtained a value of 10, we would square that and get the value 100 because it would have been the predicted value as being the square root.